Hey, say man about this uh Charleston White and West Dallas shit that had went on last night. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, really on the cool, just to let y'all know the only reason why he able to he was even able to just pull up the uh to the hood to West Dallas. Because he with my uncle now. You know what I'm saying? Nigga cool with my uncle now. You know what I'm saying? Do better. That's the only reason how or uh, why he was even, like how he was just allowed to even come to the hood and just post up like that. You know what I'm saying? He was with some niggas from the from the West. They, they got ranked. You know what I'm saying? They got, you know, they got real. So shit, that's, that's how he really would begin his little past. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie. How this shit happened, you know what I'm saying? The nigga Charleston White pulled up to the hood. He pulled up to the gas station where everybody be at. And when he pulled up, the nigga had hit, he had a little wreck, a little car wreck. He had hit a, a pothole or something sticking up out the ground or something like that. And the nigga fucked his car up, you know what I'm saying? And some whole other shit happened after that, you know what I'm saying? So, so where that is shit, I ain't gonna get inside all that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Then he ended up getting pressed. By one of our OGs out here, you know what I'm saying? Lil' Wet Alley OG, you know what I'm saying? He pressed that nigga Charleston White about some, some LA shit, whatever they, you know what I'm saying? Some, some old Lil' Wet Alley shit. If you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? But long story short, nigga ain't no calling the loud, you know what I'm saying? Doing all that snitching and shit. This is what I, this is what I got to say, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with a lot of this shit that the nigga say, like, he, he say a lot of real shit, but... This is what he fuck up at to me. You know what I'm saying? He be straddling that fence. He straddled that fence. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you gon' This is what I'm saying, Charleston White. You can't be in the hood, you know what I'm saying, or be in the streets and call the police. You know what I'm saying? Because you in the hood, if you in the streets, you a street nigga. You gotta, you gotta go by them street rules, them street laws, you know what I'm saying? So, it's only one type of person that's able to be in the street and be a police. You know what I'm saying? Called and able to call the police and all that shit. And that's undercovers and informants. Them the only ones that's able to, you know what I'm saying, do that shit. So you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna be out here in the street, Charles, you can't just you can't be in the streets and then you be you snitching, calling loud. You can't you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So if you're gonna be on that shit, get out the streets, bro. Just simple as that. Get out the street. You you can't straddle that fence, my nigga. They just they just real talk. And that's what he fucked up with me at. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, he say some real shit. Nigga don't say a lot of real shit, you know what I'm saying? About the kids and all this, you know what I'm saying? But if you gonna do that, stay all the way politics, stay all the way good. You know what I'm saying? Don't never come up to the hood. Don't don't lie. You can't be in the hood, but then you talking about right and wrong and all this shit, but you in the hood. Nah, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's, that's how that shit went down. You know what I'm saying? And the nigga took out with the laws and all that shit. Cause all laws and all type of shit went down, man. But I just had to address that shit, man. That nigga, like I said, I thought the nigga was cool. I got a video of the nigga. You know what I'm saying? He talking this shit. I'm going I'm to a, I'm a drop that bit. I got a video of that nigga talking this shit before all this shit went down. You know what I'm saying? He trying to talk good. But like I said, I thought the nigga be on some real shit. Nigga said this in this interview. Nigga said he going to. He gonna point quick. Now ask the nigga out for he gonna point the nigga out. And nigga say, Phew. and he say, quick. And I be damn. See, a nigga did it. And nigga did that shit for a nigga Boosie. Boosie won line when he said this shit. That nigga is dangerous, dog. I seen this shit with my own eyes, man. This nigga dangerous, dog. Like, real talk. This nigga called the loud. The loudest came. This nigga started pointing them out. He got a gun, the gun silver was in the car. They surrounded me with a whole bunch of gang members with guns. Hey man, leave that nigga alone. Don't bring this nigga to the hood, bro. No cap, fool, for real. Nobody, man, this shit for real. The nigga gonna call the loud, dog. And, and them niggas pulled up in the 0.5. I ain't never seen the loud pull up that fast. Call it loud and tell them this is a burglary or anything going on. Them hoes ain't going to come that fast, man. These niggas came in 0.5, man, for real. Fuck with y'all, though.